The sun still sizzles on September Friday nights. He said green. Green. One week of games got us back in the action. Just put it in Chris's hands and just bing, 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 and you saw what happened. A couple of streak busters in week one. Winning streaks start in week two tonight. Who is going to make it a September to remember on the Friday Night Blitz? This is Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Whataburger, just the way you like it. With everything going on in the world right now, we are blessed to be out on a football field on a Friday night, okay? Sure. We are thankful, grateful, okay? But we didn't come here just to hang out. Amen. We didn't come here to hang out. We came to compete. Yeah, Matt Potak and the Menendez Falcons looking to stay perfect in our game of the week. St. Augustine Yellow Jackets hosting after a deep run into the playoffs a year ago all the way to the state semifinals. Uh, Brian Braddock was our Friday Night Blitz coach of the year last year. Will the St. Augustine tradition continue in 2021? Hello everyone and welcome to the Friday Night Blitz. Brent Martin and Stuart Weber on an absolutely beautiful night in the area. It was gorgeous. Just, just terrific. <laughs> Thank you first alert weather. Team taking care of business, taking care of us. MVPs. Oh, no doubt. All over the area tonight from deep down in St. John's County to Southeast Georgia and some really good out-of-town programs invading the area in the first week of September. But we start with our Game of the Week. The Game of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. Yes, they had to wait a week, but St. Augustine was ready to go tonight against the Falcons of Menendez from right down the road. The scoring started early thanks to the run game. Tyshawn Campbell breaking through 7-0. Jackets, how about a little bit of defense? Yes, we do show some defense. Menendez looking to punt on fourth down. This is actually special teams, but whoops, high snap. Heads towards the end zone. Diego Rivera there to scoop and score. St. Aug, 14-0, still in the second. Home team still rolling. Lachlan Hewlett up top to Travion Beeman. His parents are beaming right now. Great catch with the defender in his face. Beauty of a catch and run makes it 24-0. The Hive absolutely rocking at this point. Last minutes of the first half. St. Aug going right back to the run game. Devontae Lyons getting loose. See you later. No one's going to catch him. No one's going to catch the St. Augustine Yellow Jackets in this game. 31-0 at the half. They go on to win 44 to nothing. Let's hear from Marcel Robinson and a victorious head coach. No, just super proud of the kids' effort. I mean, to have a shutout is obviously a credit to our defensive staff and the defensive players. Felt on offense, you know, the biggest thing on offense, we didn't turn the ball over. Um, we have a lot of young guys, a lot of new guys. I think nine, eight guys on offense in new positions. So, um, you know, if we possess the ball and, and protect the ball, big plays will come. Um, but a lot to be happy with. You're a guy who's been here before, obviously. But like you said, all the adversity that you guys faced, you know, with, from last Friday to, to this Friday, just tell me just how much, I guess, more could be proud of the guys. I, I, I'm serious. I mean, the, the game aside, like, I don't know that I've been a part of as good a week of practice under the circumstances um, as, as a coach. As you told those guys, you have a big test coming up next week. Obviously, it's all every week is the big week, but yeah. coming up next week, you got a big test. I, I see a smile on your face. You're ready for the challenge, I'm assuming. I mean, we'll take our little fellas out there and do what we can. I mean, you know, I think their smallest guy in the interior on either side of the ball is 6'2", 250. Um, so, you know, you know what you're going to get when you play bowls. You know, they're going to have a bunch of massive guys. You know, they're going to have a bunch of massive guys that maybe weren't there last year, and they're going to be out there playing against you on Friday night, and that's the way it's going to be. A few hours ago in this very spot, you told me nobody's talking about St. Augustine. They might be talking about you now. No, I hope not. You know, we, we've, we, we're we 1-0, and nothing more, nothing less. And um, we just need to have another week of practice like we just did. If we can, t if we can do that eight, ten weeks in a row, then we'll have a chance to do something. 1-0 oh, nonetheless, a 44 to nothing victory, a convincing 1-0. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate have it. Have a good night. Oh, nice try there, Marcel. You're not getting anything out of Coach Braddock. Yeah, Come we on. We just had Coach Braddock on ESPN 690 on the Blitz Scoreboard Show. He was He's in love with this team already after one week, after a couple weeks. There you go. Next week, it's going to be Madison County and University Christian. You talk about two powerhouse programs in the state. And that will be our game of the week on the Friday Night Blitz. You see, hey, by the way, picked up a win tonight at Zephyr Hills Christian. They did. Uh, impressive win. A good one in St. John's County. Nice coming off a big win last week and hosting Creekside. This place was packed. Preston Strope. He's still playing at Creekside. Four-year letterman. Touchdown. Boom. Ran over the guy at the goal line. It was like a seven-year letterman. In the second quarter. And he's trying to get it going late in the second quarter when they got the ball. And watch Marcus Stokes here. I thought he was about to get sacked. Hung with him. Well, he got it off and Ooh. found Devon Patterson. 
Focus, Cameron. Focus. Focus. That's me. Vincent Aprobato. Watch him on the defensive side because shortly after that, Lee's couldn't get anything going because Aprobato. Boom. I remember saying his name Saturday when they beat Reball. I'm going to have fun saying that one all year. <laughs> Well, hopefully we're saying it correct. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> Ashton Anderson would say, hey, number eight. I can do that too. Boom. Good defense by Creekside. 37-27. The Knights win over the Panthers. They're 2-0. Oh. How about a Nassau County clash? The Pirates hosting the Hornets in Fernandina Beach. Yuli holding the Pirates of Fernandina Beach to zero. With plays like this, Devontae Doctor firing through the line, crushing backfield tackle. Hornets now driving. Chris Turner deep to Zachary Dowdy. Gets it inside the 10. Pirates defense coming alive. Hornets going for it on fourth. Cole Pote, huge stop. Forces the turnover on fourth down. Late in the fourth quarter now, a good one as usual. Fernandina's Andre Lucas. There he goes. Gets wow. the handoff through the, the traffic. Edge. Somehow makes it through. And away he goes. There he goes. 73-yard touchdown. How about that? We don't have a score on this one. So if you got one, give us a ring. Let us know. Talk to us on Twitter, social media. We love the socials. We want to know who won that clash up in Nassau County. Let us know. Always a good one. It's the Battle of the Angry Men of the Sea, Buccaneers and Vikings. Like an NFL Can we get that film on the right there. Reigns, Rashawn Latimer, Jr. looking to pass. No receiver, no problem. Up the middle, breaks. Oh, well, one but two tackles. Gets in for six. That's a touchdown for the Vikings in the second. Latimer again. This time throwing it up to Quincy Burroughs. Talented wide receiver, one of the best in the area. Huge gain, gets caught inside the five. And then Latimer to Burroughs again for the touchdown. So no problem. Latimer on a roll tonight. Here's another one. This one to Kareem Burke. Just launched it oh. right through the defender's hand. Nobody gets close. 39 to nothing. Reigns with a big win. place. Nice High School. I mean, the Panthers fans were fired up. They were in it the whole way. Good for them for coming out and having a lot of fun on a Friday night and a beautiful one at that. That's not a small bleacher, by the way. No, it's not. Uh, it was a full house there. Hey, Riverside coming off a win at Atlantic Coast. That's Atlantic Coast. Big running back. Had a big week last week. Three touchdowns, but held in check tonight. Fourth down for Riverside. The Stingray stop him. Shaku Sangari with the short stop. Just right. tugged on that jersey, and that was enough. Couldn't stop him for long, though. Charles Jones will sneak into the end zone. Can hardly find him. He got low, and he got into the end zone. First score of the game, 8 to nothing. Big at that downfield point. on that one. Then Melbourne. more from the Generals. Alvin Gibson in a really impressive night. He's good, and he pinballs into the end zone. Four to the seven. Generals looking good. And let's hear from O.J. Small. They just put anything on the defensive back, uh, on the defense side, you know, every every game. Cause they, 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 they playing tough. They're playing some, some real hard football right now. And um, offense, once we start cleaning some things up, I, I think we will be able to put up a lot of points each game. That's O.J. Small checking in on the Blitz Scoreboard Show on ESPN 690. It's a really cool show we do from 9 until 10.30. We come right down here and do the Friday Night Blitz. So check it out each and every Friday night, 9 o'clock. Really encourage you to check it out on the social platforms because we show video from live you games. Saw the, saw the video highlights there as Coach is talking. So Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and you can always listen to the scores, analysis, and reaction on ESPN 690. Well, consider this your hey. <laughs> Trinity Christian hosting Revolt, the Conquerors defense unrelenting. Cameron Anderson into the backfield for the TFL. Puts the Trojans in a bad down and distance, and that's when mistakes happen. Flushed out, trying to throw it away. Keaton Thomas instead has the end zone in sight. That is a pick six, something they do a lot of over there on the west side. Before the half, Reball just trying to stay in this thing. They pressure Trinity, and hey, it works. Zavatre Brown able to scoop up the fumble, but they could not score before the break. This game, all Trinity. The Conquerors moving to 2-0 with wins over Reigns and Reball. How about the Saints of Sandalwood hosting some out-of-towners, the Bobcats, Gainesville, Buholz. Start of the third, Saints down 14-0. Long fight down the field, now fourth and inches. Chris Calhoun puts it in, Sandalwood, Touchdown, their first of the evening. Fourth quarter, Buholtz still leading 21-7. Their QB looking for another six. Runs down the sideline, inches away before, bang! 
Marquise Landry lays him out, stopped at the one yard line, but the Bobcats would score in the next play and end up with the victory. They win it 28 to seven. Well, we head to Jengro Stadium where the Eagles are hosting the Ponte Vedra Sharks early in the second. Quarterback Benjamin Burke hands it off to his running back, Nolan Parlett. Keep your eyes on him. Uh, swings around, dives in the end zone. Sharks touchdown. Pot of e drop 14-0 on the road. Still in the second. Burke looks down the end zone, finds freshman receiver Nathan Bunkowski. Stays on his field. Nice play. Oh. Breaks two tackles. Pushed out of bounds, though. He but still a heck of an effort. Sharks were going to win big. They win in a blowout. First win for Steve Price, the new head coach. 34-0. Congrats to him. Couple big challenges for local teams. Welcoming opponents from Miami. Oakley taking on Carroll City. Early on, nice job by the defense to sniff out some of the things that the visitors were trying to do. Dylan Stubbs stands them up, but down by seven after an early gamble on fourth down, turned into a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Shevchuk just bouncing off of tacklers. He had to play a lot tonight after an injury to Michael Brannon on the very first drive. Drew Ammon still able to do a really good job moving the ball down the field, but here he's forced to throw it because it's another fourth down play. This time it's Carroll City who comes down with it at the goal line, and well, they would turn that one into points as well. Lenny Falk Jr. on the little dump off. He gets around the end zone and he's gone. Okay, here's what's frustrating, right? 14-0 when Stewart had to run and go to two other games. <laughs> Final score, Oakley 40, Carroll City 30. They were down 30 to 13, Stewart, Woo! and they came back and won. That's a heck of a win for Oakley. Awesome win. As for Bartram Trail, low scoring affair against Columbus and Miami, only one touchdown all game. And this is it for the Bears. 12-6 win against a team that had won 17 in a row coming in. Bartram Trail just knows how to win. They can win any which way, and they win with defense tonight, 12 to six. We have so many more games to get to. What's happening in the area on a beautiful night for high school football. Week number two, Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia, plus Stuart Weber's next installment of making of a program, Tokoy Creek. We will take you there coming up on the Friday Night Blitz. Hi, I'm Matt Batty Alley working the grill at Fernandina Beach High School and you're watching the Friday Night Blitz. Rains, Vikings, and this is Friday Night Blitz. Let's say the wrong words. No, I did. He's saying the wrong words. This is Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Whataburger, just the way you like it. Well, if you're just joining us in our game of the week, St. Augustine took care of business against Menendez. They win 44 to nothing. A good win for St. Augustine, considering they had to wait an extra week. Brian Braddock really happy with his football team. They get the W at home to start the year. The Coach of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. And our first win here at Bramley, we present Coach and you guys with a $1,500 check. Oh, yeah. How about that, Quinteron's Cooper Q. What's up, man? He's presenting that check. Big part of St. Augustine football for decades now. Brian Braddock is your Jaguars prep Whataburger coach of the week. $1,500 toward the program. New athletic director, by the way, Quinteron's <laughs> Cooper. That's right. Taking uh, over the reins there at his alma mater. Yeah, it's great. Uh, part of our making of the program story, by the way, yep. if you look on Action Sports Shacks on ESPN 690's YouTube channel. You can watch Quinterrence Cooper, the Cooper brothers, uh, part of the St. Augustine lore down there for so long, and uh, that proud tradition in St. Augustine. Yeah, that's where this whole thing kind of started. The making of a program thing was at St. Augustine, and it's kind of ironic that this year, the athletic director at <laughs> Tokoy Creek is Jeff Holland, who was the athletic director at St. Augustine when we were there. They played their first two games of the season, at St. Augustine's home field and helps to have that that familiarity and nice that little connection. Tie. Yeah, not bad at all. So it was another week with COVID cancellations all over the place, including our area's newest school, Tokoy Creek, who found themselves without a game earlier this week because Interlochen had some COVID-19 issues, so they couldn't play. This tiny setback, just another part of the journey, a journey that started way back in May. Yes, a few months before the school was even open, the Toros were already practicing. We take you to the practice field this week on making of a program for one of the Tokoy Creek's Toros first ever workouts as a team. One, two, three. Toro! Tight ends on me. Tight ends on me. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome. In the spring, nobody knew anybody. They didn't know me. Is it Kaz? Kaiz. 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 
Jeez, I apologize. Okay. I didn't know them. Kids didn't know anybody. And it's just starting to, it's starting all to come together. Thursday, Friday. Good, good. Expectations are higher here with this group than that last group. The sophomores and juniors is what I call it, Nice. So we practice with them and then the eighth graders that are our, my freshmen now. So we had two separate practices through spring. This group right here is going to be the group that we're going to be playing on Friday nights. So we are teaching certain concepts you know, to the upperclassmen and certain concepts to the freshmen. This week is just the beginning. It's fundamentals. Hit the line, and I'll take you take a sign out to the out to the stretch. Here we go on the move. Now I gotta hear some juice. Let's go. Let me see my energy. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So everything that we do here is what you gotta learn how to do. What is strain? Okay, strain. Here we go. Ready? Go. Good job. All right, here we go. You don't know, you will learn. We align and we stay in power. Best position you got in football. Finish the rep. Finish the play, finish the quarter, finish the game. Your footwork was good, but get me lower, okay? Get me lower. We are going to be in that situation. You have to learn how to finish the game. Relax, relax, switch the legs. Those are the words for the day, okay? Straining and finishing. You guys are on the same page as this coaching staff, okay? Really appreciate head coach Mike Kolakowski giving us that inside look at the program. Next week, I think it's time to put on the pads and introduce the Toros to the community. And what a turnout it was for the team's first ever scrimmage to wrap up the spring. That's coming up next week on Making of a Program. And if you want to watch previous editions, we mentioned St. Augustine. We also did one on Reigns as well. Making of a Program, you can do it on our YouTube channel, Action Sports Jacks on ESPN 690. I love watching the growth of that program and all of them. The Stanton Blue Devils looking to win their first home game of the season. They are hosting the Hilliard Flashes early in the first. Quarterback Lyle Bennett keeps the ball himself, runs it in for the first six of the night. Hilliard goes up early. Still in the first. Stanton with a three and out. Hilliard back with the ball. Bennett looking deep. Finds Braden Matto. Another six for the Flashes. Hilliard up. 14 zip. Stay in the first. Bennett this time just handed it off to Walker Avera. Goes down the middle for another six. So, well, at the end of the day, flashes went big over Stanton. 51 to 2. All right, we're going to play a little two minute drill here, Brent. At Bishop Snyder. First, you need a stop, right? Mission mm -hmm. accomplished. There's your stop. Cardinals defense making a big stop in the back. Ooh, that's a whole flock. A lot of Cardinals. Cardinal red. A flock. Flock of them. Then you need a big play to pick up some yards late in the half, right? Glenn Foreman the third finds Nico Bates, sheds a tackle, the cards in business. It's a good they get two inside drill. the 20, but time was against them. Last play of the half, Bates with the making of something special. Turf monster got him. Uh, oh, uh, the turf monster got him. See, I built you up. I built you up to make you think. Uh, he was good. Gonna happen. Was it was looking good. Right yeah, it was a good little move there. They were trailed by five at the half. Still waiting on a final nah, on that one tonight, as well. Uh, they fell by a couple touchdowns. I think it was 28-14. We've got more games. Let's ah, go up to Georgia. Games. Yeah, we didn't get you these games in the early edition of the Blitz. They're here now. Wildcats of Camden County ready to go. First drive for the Cats. Jamie Felix running to the outside. This will set his team up inside the 10-yard line. Very next play, Jacaden Alberti Ooh, would score. Contact. Makes it 7 nothing. After a great punt return, setting up the Wildcats in the red zone. Gray Loden looking to the end zone. You could say he's loading up. Mm -hmm. Jadon Jones puts the Cats up 14 nothing in the first quarter. After some penalties push Inlet Grove back inside their five. Jones, who just scored the touchdown, a little defense as well. You don't get a lot of two way guys on that Camden County roster because they have 300 guys on the roster. <laughs> Wildcats of Camden County run away in this one. Charlton County facing Long County tonight up 14 nothing in the first half. Jalen King, after a long screen pass, just keeps it himself for the touchdown and well, he gets in there later. King had the screen pass working because Jalen Lilly got it over to him right in the middle of the field. Finds his way all the way inside the five. He gets tackled from behind. Why not give it to him again? Pay off to pay dirt. Jalen Lilly runs it in for the touchdown. Charlton was up big in this one. That's a long drive home. Oh, I get it. Uh, Ware County hosting Baldwin, not our Baldwin, Georgia's Baldwin. It's another Baldwin. Okay. Cartevius Norton knows what to do with the Rock. Gator's up by 17 at the half when he takes over. Big gainer. This one goes all the way to the 10-yard line. Memorial Stadium, by the way, one of the best atmospheres in our area. His <laughs> quarterback, the UCF commit, Thomas Castellanos, well, he would do the rest with this QB keeper, Ware County, 41 to 20. They get the win. Hey, what a delight in Lake City tonight, huh? Columbia coming off season opening win, hosting 11 time state champ Bowles. Third play of the game. Bulldogs trying to set up the screen pass, but 
Quarterback Jackie Judge goes off a helmet into the hands of Columbia's Adion Farmer, takes out sideline into the end zone. Tigers up 7 zip. Well, those will be the only points of the game for the Tigers. After two bowl safeties make it 7 4. Quarterback DJ Moore get it downfield there. That's a touchdown to Kavon Miller. Puts the Bulls up, Bulldogs up an odd 11 to 7. And how about Bulls? I mean, Bulls looking really good on the road. That's a heck of a win. Not surprised they won, but they roll over Columbia tonight, 34 to 7. All right, let's pop over to Duval Charter, a little eight man football against St. John's Country Day in the afternoon. Panthers already up a score. Ben Walker takes a handoff. He can't be stopped. He can grab his jersey, but he's going to reach across for six. Beautiful. Next drive. This time, it's Cameron Burnell, and he's going to air it out. Oh, there it goes. Walker walks it in. Another touchdown for Duval Charter. One more time, let's go to Burnell, using his feet, gets to the outside, there he goes, Duval Charter. Big win on their home field, 40 to six. Great crowd support tonight for the Panthers as Duval Charter gets it done. All right, one more for you, Keystone Heights and Bell. Opening drive for the Indians at Keystone Heights. Dalton Hollingsworth taking it to the house. 40 yard touchdown for the Indians. Early second quarter, more of the same. Tyler Jenkins this time, he's gonna power it across the goal line, makes it 20 to nothing. Keystone, still in the first half. Hollingsworth again, how about a 70 yard run? It would set up the short Keystone Heights touchdown. They go on to win 38 to nothing. They are now two and zero oh on the season. All right, hey, more to come on the Blitz, including the play of the day. And Marcel Robinson said after he got this down at St. Augustine, he's like, I've got the play of the day. He called dibs on the play of the day early. That's an early one. Does he deliver? I haven't seen it. I'm looking forward to it. All and right. we crown our first player of the week of 2021. Plenty of good options. Over 28,000 votes cast. We reveal the winner coming up next on the Blitz. After high school, he plans to enlist in the Navy. Popular answer over at Oakleaf on senior night. Of course, the big connection to NAS Jacks right down the road. Senior night on the home opener because you never know how the season's going to go. So, you know, knock Good it idea. out, right? Honor those deserving student athletes and those who participate in the extracurriculars. We're the Creekside Knights and this is the Friday Night Blitz. King of St. John's, baby. Crown the Kings. This is Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Whataburger, just the way you like it. It was my What's junior up? year, um, had around 200-something yards and scored three touchdowns. Um, the team was talking a lot of mess and said they were going to get me, but uh, that didn't end well for them, so I, get, I think that was my favorite moment. Oh, Marvin Jones as the Jags take the week off for their opener. Our Jags coverage doesn't stop. Jaguars All Access every Thursday on Fox 30. More shows to come once the season gets started as well. That includes tomorrow night at 7. We'll have a one-hour NFL preview heavy on the Jags on CBS 47. Hope you can check it out on Saturday evening. So let's take a look at the play of the week. Yeah. How about that? And uh, we go down to St. Augustine once again, and this is Lachlan Hewitt to Trivion Beeman, and there it is. Goes up and gets it. Marcel Robinson was down at that game bragging about it early. I like the dance moves after. That's just as much a part of the play of the week. Well, we check it out again. Why not, right? Goes up and slow-mo for effect. Gets it over the top. Was that close enough for a you got Moss? Yeah, probably was. Probably was. St. Augustine wins 44-0. The Player of the Week, sponsored by Whataburger. 172 yards, four touchdowns, on just 10 carries. Does that do anything for you? Because <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how you win Player of the Week on the Friday Night Blitz. Well, that and the fans voted for Cade Fru from the Bulls School back in last week's matchups. Here's the deal. We're going to select four candidates. You feel free to send us some of your picks on social media if you have some. We'll, Better we'll, do it quick. We'll consider them. Yeah, do it now because we're going to decide pretty soon. We'll post the poll on the Blitz page at actionnewsjacks.com later tonight. Vote Saturday, Sunday, Monday till 1130. And then we're going to crown a new player of the week. Yeah, Kate Fru going to Air Force. He has been a force for bowls over the years. Friday Night Blitz coming up at 1120. Like uh, Stuart mentioned, Charlton County Camden highlights coming in a little bit late. So we'll have that fresh for touchdowns. you on that edition. Let's leave you with the band of the week. Speaking of Camden County, we got this. We got another win. 51 to 18 tonight. So Jeff Heron era off to a nice start and the band sounds good as well listen up we'll see you on the blitz in just a bit
watching Action Sports Jack's Friday Night Blitz, sponsored by Whataburger, just the way you like it. Action Sports Jack's Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Fox 30.